so complex numbers time. So complex numbers, um, they're generally, um, you know, a number that includes some real numbers and the some multiple of the um, imaginary number. The imaginary number is represented by i, and it is the square root of negative 1. Right. So, um, yeah, square root of negative 1, um, that is known as i, or the imaginary unit. Um, complex numbers are written as these equations, um, and the equations are um, x, which shows the real axis, and that's you know, on the um, complex plane, um, the real axis is x, and the complex axis is y. Um, so, yeah, it's just an equation. Um, y is still a real number, um, however, you know, it's being multiplied by negative 1, which is why it's scaled on the complex plane. Um, the conjugate in a complex um, number is just when we flip the sign in front of y, um, and it's just given by a z-bar. These are just some quick complex number probability properties. And so if we multiply two conjugates together, um, we get the magnitude squared. Again, the magnitude is the same as, as the vector. Um, the magnitude of z is just going to be x squared plus y squared. Um, it's pretty nifty because complex numbers can be treated like vectors in a sense. Um, and there are some certain question types that you guys will run into cross that will require you to use complex numbers the same way as vectors. Um, they don't have a direction, so we just label it with a like a like a round bit. Um, here is x, and here is y. The reason its magnitude is again using Pythag theorem because it's all triangles, right? So we can find you know its length by using Pythag theorem. Okay, I'll let you guys have a go at this in your own time. Um, again, if you had any questions with you know these questions, feel free to shoot me an email. Uh, and I'm happy to make solutions for you guys. Um, or help you guys with any of these. Um, so, yeah. Um, Alright, um, one thing I will talk about is division. Um, I'll let you guys have a go at that. Well, actually, probably not. Just in the interest of time. Um, I'm going to skip past all of this. Um, this is just solving complex number equations. Um, you guys will get, you guys will come across, you know, like this one here, um, it's going to give you a negative. Um, and this one here, you'll notice that the determinant is less than zero. So you will have at least one complex solution here. Um, so yeah, have a go at these. Um, with this one, you can convert into polar form and then divide. Um, alternatively, with division, you just multiply um, it by the conjugate over the conjugate. Um, but I would, whenever doing multiplication or division, um, it's just always easier to convert to polar form. And I'll talk about polar form if you guys don't remember what that is um, pretty shortly. Um, also, that that plane there is called the Argon diagram. It's just like, you know, weird way, weird, weird complex number stuff. Um, it's just how they like to represent things. Um, whenever we multiply things, um, it's always an anti-clockwise rotation. Um, and this this line here is known as a ray. Um, and so we always draw rays as solid lines. Everything else should be drawn as a dotted line. And the coordinates still work the same. Um, okay, so this is what polar form is. Um, I'll probably just cover that in the last couple of seconds that we have. Um, so polar form is when we convert um, this Cartesian form into a form that uses the angle and the magnitude. So we're describing this complex number in terms of the angle it makes with the argand, um, you know, x-axis, and the length it is at. So r is just the magnitude, and theta can again find this using Pythag or I'm not Pythag, so Katoa, So y divided by x, because opposite over adjacent. Um, and yeah, when we divide and multiply anything with um, these, so with polar form, when we divide things, um, what we can do is we divide the r's, so r1 divided by r2, um, and then we subtract the angles. So cis theta 1 minus theta 2. And when we multiply, we multiply the r's, so r1 times r2, 
times R2 and the angles are added instead. Alrighty, so hopefully that makes sense. Um, there's a lot more, um, a bunch of notes um, for you guys to go through. Um, so have a go at that. Um, have a go through the rest of these slides. Um, so yeah, unfortunately we couldn't cover everything today, but that's pretty expected usually. Um, but yeah, I'll just check if there are any more questions on Slido. Um, all right, neat. Um, if that's all, um, feel free to shoot me an email. Um, I'm always happy to respond. Um, go through those notes. Um, definitely pretty useful. Have a go at all doing all those questions. And yeah, um, good. Best of luck with um, year twelve, and hopefully see you guys around. Bye bye.